So the day has finally come where we can actually use an iPad for design and only the iPad. I've been receiving so many questions from you guys regarding the iPad and whether you need a MacBook, an iPad or both or just one of those things. Basically, you guys want to know if you can just buy an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil and see if you can just use that for design. Over the past few weeks and since the new iPad came out, Apple released something called the Magic Keyboard and it took forever to come, but it has arrived today and I am so excited to be showing you this. The Apple Magic Keyboard is a floating keyboard for your iPad Pro and I had my reservations about it. I did not know if it would work well and if it did work well, would it be functional as for designers and creatives? And I think the answer to this will surprise you a lot. The keyboard, it is a full on keyboard. It feels really nice. It's got the new Mac switches, so the new MacBook keyboard switches. None of those other ones where they broke a lot, they've actually put in the new switches for the keyboard. So when you type, it feels like you're typing on a MacBook or on a normal Apple keyboard. Not only that, it has a trackpad as well. This trackpad works really, really well and nicely with the whole design of it. I've been finding myself not just using this creatively, but using it for surfing the internet. It's a lot easier than booting up my MacBook. And the biggest plus for me is when I'm using the internet or going on YouTube or just looking at things online, my MacBook would normally heat up on my lap and it'd be really uncomfortable. I've been on my annual leave for a week and I've just come back today and the case actually arrived during annual leave and I found myself using it on my bed because it was comfortable. Design wise, it floats with magnets. Apple have implemented the magnets into this case and they are super, super strong. You'll first realize when you start to put your iPad on it, how strong these magnets are and how heavy the case is. The case is actually really heavy and it's about as heavy as the iPad, if not just a little bit lighter. But the thing you'll realize, it is heavy for a couple of reasons. Not just because of all the keyboard and magnets and trackpad technology inside it, but also as a counterbalance. The iPad is screen heavy. Normally laptops are bottom heavy. The keyboard does not feel cheap, but it is also made of the same sort of soft touch silicon material, which we all know about. It is really nice and very cool, but it's not leather. I'd like to see in a leather case. That would have been nice. Let's talk about some of the other things that are inside this case. This case also has a USB pass-through port for charging. It does not transfer data, apparently. Not that I've tried it. And that was a surprisingly useful thing that Apple have implemented into this case because if you're holding your iPad or resting on a table, you want to be able to have a place to charge, but then also in the standard port, have a place to put your SSD or a USB-C dongle or a dongle for your SD card. You want a place to have a couple of inputs. The rotation of the screen is fine. It lifts, tilts and everything absolutely fine. It is a bit of a pickle to open though. It's not like as satisfying as a normal keyboard, but closing it is just great. And for any of you guys who are wondering about the hinges and whether it feels stable, it feels very stable. It's The magnets are pretty strong. Okay, that's enough about the technology, my experience as a designer. I use an app called Vectinator Pro for my design work and Vectinator Pro are sponsoring this video. Me and Vectinator Pro have a great relationship because the app is free. You guys like it. I use it on my iPad for work for real life work when I'm creating logo ideas and everything else. It just, it just works really well. And what I found with this case is that it's changed the game of mobile design to a new level. Having the keyboard and trackpad in the case makes everything different. The input method has now, if you want it to, switch back from touch to actual computer input with a mouse and keyboard. Now, the great thing about this is that designers who are logo designers or people who work with precision really need this, especially for hot keys and being able to do things fast. Now, Vectinator Pro has released a new update. So they actually have a pan button now and it's that hand button that you see and also right click functionality which is huge if you ever look inside other apps that you have to pay for like adobe illustrator you'll see that you'll right click quite a lot to go and send an object behind or to group a group a bunch of layers well now you have this inside of vectinator pro for free you can pinch the zoom rotate your canvas and do any panning with your fingers on the trackpad and for any of you that are asking the trackpad yes Yes, it is small, but it's better than nothing. Beforehand, I would have to be carrying this bad boy around with me, which is a 150 
pound or $150 trackpad and it's huge. It's about a quarter of the size of this, the trackpad inside there. So it takes a bit of getting used to and you can always use this instead if you want to. But having the ability to use a trackpad on the iPad has changed the game. It was only a year ago I was saying to people not to buy an iPad solely for design. If you had a choice between an iPad and a MacBook or a Mac, you must choose a Mac because that's the only way. But what we're seeing now is that we have reached that point where technology meets software and everything sort of coming together, intertwining into an app-based system where we can do all of our design work. Not only do I do design work on there, I actually do emails and it's become a lot easier. I use an app called Spark for all my emails. The app actually allows me and Naomi to communicate through the emails, see what we're doing and write emails together when we're struggling to do things. It keeps track of everything that we're doing. I also use Notion and lots of different things that have iPad apps. The greatest thing about having this keyboard is not just the design or the form factor, the greatest thing is the possibilities. Now that we've got an app like Vectinator that we can do actual logo design work, as you can see here, it means that we can do things that we couldn't do before like a computer, but also having the possibility of using touch input and Apple pencil input, mind blown. So I'm gonna ask myself this question. Can you use only the iPad for graphic design now, for like logo design, brochure design, illustration? And the answer is yes. You can most definitely only use the iPad if you want to. You will be missing a few things though, but for a lot of people, you don't need that. The Apple Magic Keyboard not only opens up a lot of opportunities for people to create on the iPad, but I think it's really segmenting the market for people like me who want to be ultra portable, but have a lot of possibilities. For instance, you can see me here using Vectinator to create a logo design idea. And I'm using the keys to select the tools that I want to use. And that makes life a lot quicker. It makes everything seem a lot more native. It makes everything look nicer and feel better. But if I want to, I can just pull the iPad off the case, and start using my fingers or the pencil. Those possibilities have never been really seen before. The biggest thing about this is the price. It is well overpriced, £350 or $350 in dollars actually. How much is that in dollars? That is $444 for me to use a case. Now that is way too expensive, but Apple are doing something clever. They are segmenting the market and this is an item that only specialists would really need to use. But all I can say is the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard is now completely usable. It is now an iPad only machine. You can do that on this. All I can say is that the iPad Pro has now become a machine where you can do nearly all of your creative work on. There are creative apps that will blow your mind on the iPad, but Vectinator is my favorite one as a designer. So my conclusion on this is that one, it's great. Two, if you've got the money and you love the iPad and you want some more functionality out of it, then get this case. It will make your life Three, it's a lot. It costs a lot. I don't think everyone should buy it if you can't afford it. You can get the actual normal iPad or the baseline one for less than the case or around about the same amount as the case. So keep that in mind. But if you're someone who is specialized, takes photographs, draws a lot, writes a lot of emails and needs design software like Vectinator, pick one up. If you didn't know, Vectinator is a free vector design app for Mac, iPhone, and iPad. I primarily use it on my iPad and my iPhone, which we're gonna be creating another video on later. And it's great for logo design, it's great for brochure design, UX design, and everything else in between. It's got a fully formed pen tool in there, which is the biggest thing that got me into Vectinator. The fact that I can do Bezier curves, really satisfying curves in my iPad, and then export it out into a font creating app is huge. You can install fonts and do all your design work inside of Vectinator. So if you wanna try it and download it for completely free, click the link down below in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Also, remember to press that big fat red subscribe button. I heard a little secret that when you press it, it changes color more to a gray one. So give it a go. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.